In the 1960s and 70s, the world watched as the Vietnam War played out on the international stage. It was a time of great tension, and many countries found themselves drawn into the conflict in one way or another. But two nations in particular played a unique and influential role during the war. China and the Soviet Union were two of the world's largest and most powerful communist nations. They saw the Vietnam War as a crucial part of the larger struggle between communism and capitalism. They each had their own reasons for getting involved, and this would have far-reaching effects on the outcome of the war. In today's video, we look at how China and the Soviet Union helped during the Vietnam War. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. The Soviet Union's involvement was actually very extensive. They would become a major supplier of military and economic support to North Vietnam during the war. This included sending weapons, supplies and even troops to help the North Vietnamese forces in their fight against South Vietnam and the United States. The Soviet Union's goal was to spread communism throughout the world and to demonstrate the superiority of the communist system over capitalism. The Soviet Union's provisions to the North were a huge help. A large number of items were provided, such as food, iron and steel, fertilisers, petroleum, transport equipment, and perhaps most importantly, weapons and ammunition. You can see here NVA troops posing in front of a Soviet surface-to-air missile. This was also an area where many of the Soviet troops were sent. Artillery and anti-aircraft advisors travelled to North Vietnam to train their soldiers in taking down US and Allied aircraft, and there have been accounts of Soviet troops being directly involved in the downing of US aircraft during the war. Also, this was no secret. Estimates put around 3,000 Soviet troops serving in the conflict zone during the course of the war, in various different roles. Some estimates have around three quarters of the provisions supplied to the North coming from the Soviet Union. China, on the other hand, saw the Vietnam War as an opportunity to demonstrate its own power and influence in the region. China was still recovering from the Cultural Revolution, and the leadership saw the war as an opportunity to prove that China was a major player on the world stage. They would provide extensive military and economic aid to North Vietnam, including weapons and supplies, as well as training and advice on guerrilla warfare tactics. The financial aspect would also come in the form of loans, which further tied the North to China well into the future. China itself would also act as a supply route for Soviet equipment to the north. But perhaps the most underrated factor of China's involvement was the number of troops it sent. An estimated 320,000 Chinese men were sent to Vietnam to conduct various roles. Many of these were engineers who would help to repair roads, bridges and build military installations and tunnels. Because they were working side by side with the NVA, Chinese soldiers were in the firing line many times, and around 1,000 are estimated to have been killed towards the end of the 1960s. Despite their different motivations, China and the Soviet Union worked closely together to support the war effort. They coordinated and shared intelligence, making it much harder for the United States and South Vietnam to win the war. The involvement of these two powerful communist nations made the Vietnam War much more complex, and it ultimately prolonged the conflict for many years. Their relationship, though, was not without its difficulties. With changes to leadership during the 1960s, tensions grew between the two powers, each vying for more influence over the other. Ultimately, this didn't matter, as both their supplies of men and machine were a large factor in the US and Allied nations' removal from the country. The last US units would leave in 1973, and this eventually led to the whole of Vietnam becoming a communist state. It could be argued that the involvement of China and the Soviet Union in the Vietnam War helped spread communism in Southeast Asia. Vietnam's neighbour Lao would become a communist nation two years after the US left in 1975. 
Today, the legacy of the Vietnam War continues to shape the region. China and the Soviet Union's involvement in the conflict demonstrated the power of two superpowers working together for the same goal. While the war itself was a tragedy, it also marked a turning point in the Cold War, as the communist world and the western world faced off in battle for global dominance. Though China is still a communist nation today, the Soviet Union would eventually dissolve in 1991 and become the Russian Federation as we know it now. Despite the war, Vietnam is now a growing and thriving nation opening its doors to the world, with tourism adding millions of dollars to the economy each year. Were you aware that China and the Soviet Union had such a big role to play during the Vietnam War? Do you think North Vietnam would have been defeated without this assistance? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.